This is my G0704 mill I picked up from grizzly.com and converted to CNC with a lot of help from the guys on CNC Zone and uh, I bought some uh, parts for the conversion on eBay uh, one of them from um, a guy named Billy uh, from Alm Design uh, he made these custom aluminum mounts for the steppers for the uh, for the Y the uh, X you can see the ends on the X and on the Z and uh, I've got the linear motion bearings 2008 ball screws and ball nuts uh, from eBay on the machine on the X and Y I've got the RM1605 and on the Z I've got the RM I think the RM2005 so uh, that's what's on the Z now um, some of the things that I've done I made some things with my 3d printer I made a cover for the the hole that's there when you take off the the crank for the Z I made some covers for the Billy mounts that let you um, slide them open and they basically uh, will cover up the um, the hole that's in the Billy couplers or sorry the Billy mounts uh, that hides the coupler inside the couplers were from Asumi they were um, Oldham style couplers the steppers from Kelling Technology, NEMA 23, 570 ounce inch. This, um, right now I'm using uh, an Xbox 360 controller for the pendant to control the machine. The, the controller is custom controller that uh, with the recommended components from Haas on uh, g0704.com. Um, highly recommend checking out that website. He uh, he's done a great job um, giving all the information you require to convert uh, the mill to CNC and uh, great recommendations on electronics and everything like that. So let's take a look at what I've got in the controller here. Just used a Antec 300 PC computer case for the controller, and inside we've got a. C35 breakup board that I picked up at Kelling Technologies. Um, then here's the um, stepper drivers. They're the KL6050s. Um, I think they're 5 amp stepper drivers, pretty sure. And this is the power supply that I picked up from Antec. It's the um, it's a 600 watt 50 volt supply. And I've um, put a contactor circuit in there that um, I uh, took got the schematic from the Mechmate guys a long time ago, I think in 2008. So the controller works with um, basically there's uh, three buttons. There's an emergency stop right here. There's an on button and an off button. And the emergency stop will just kind of lock it off if you press it in and then you can't turn it on with the buttons twist to reset it. So here's the on button. You can turn it on. You see the, the light lights up. I'm running the CNC with Mach 3 CNC software. Um, I use that to run my CNC router, which is over here. It's a modified Joe's hybrid from uh, joescnc.com. There's a controller over there for it. Excuse the messy garage. I don't know. I'm spending too much time building and not enough time cleaning here. I gotta. I can't find any tools, so I'm gonna have to clean up soon, but not today. So here's the controller. I'll uh, show you how that works. A little bit difficult to juggle the camera around here. I'll see if I can do it here with my other hand. So this, uh, I've got the red button mapped on the controller to the emergency stop. You can see. Uh, when I press that, it resets mock. And you can see I can uh, move the z-axis down. What's really cool about this is you can use the, uh, the the thumb, or sorry, the the triggers on the controller to make it go faster. And you can progressively push it in to make it go faster. I use this uh, 360 controller on the 
on the um, router for with a lot of success. All right, so here's the um, move the X axis. Y axis. Now you can, um, I probably only got about six inches of usable on the Y. I thought I'd have a little bit more. I've got quite a bit of usable on the, uh, on the X, probably around 18. I haven't measured it on the, on the Z I should have enough to, uh, to, uh, be, to make it workable for sure. Um, what else can I tell you about it? I need to get myself, uh, I think I'm going to design a stand for the computer and the controller because this is just a temporary, um, little uh, workbench that uh, it's holding it for now but yeah that's it I'm happy with it so far I trimmed the head today um, so I'm ready to start making chips so the next video you see will be me making something I'm not sure what yet but I'll I'll uh, figure something out and, and post it soon take care guys bye